What's going on Spartans? Welcome back. Today we're doing something extremely fun and very educational. Everyone's asking what is the best team in Zombination? Well guys, the best team I'm going to show you guys today. I'm going to show you the best 3 pad and the best 5 pad. But let's start out here. Um, you know what, actually I'll come back to this in a minute. Let's get right into it. We're just going to attack. And so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you, I'm actually going to show you the overall team that I use because everyone asks what's the team I use. Um, here's my main squad guys. I got my Destructor, level 22. I have my Machine Gunner, level 36. I have my Spec Op, level 26. I have a Surgeon, 32. I also have my Fire Chief at level 28. And then I have a level 31 Scatter Shot and a Lumberjack at 30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into an attack. Where should we attack at? It's the real question. Let's just do Jakarta for the purpose of this video. We'll throw out an Expert uh, for some high-level gameplay for you guys, obviously. And we're just going to have fight. It says my team power is too low. Oh well, we're gonna get it guys. Let's jump into this. As you guys know, Survivor side got a lot harder, but I shouldn't have too much trouble here. So we're gonna get right in, and uh, here we go. Let's check this map out real quick. There is the hospital way in the back, and it doesn't look like any other hospital. There's only one hospital here. Yikes. Only some three pads and one pads around to protect it. I'm gonna do a little trial. I'm pretty sure if I go like this, and I move this pad forward, I can actually draw all the pads there because there's a wall here. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a spec up here, and then what I'm going to do is i got to put down my melee units. Here is the ultimate force, guys. It's either two fire chiefs or a lumberjack and a fire chief. So you have two melees. You have a surgeon to revive one every time one dies, and then what you do is you bring a scatter shot to back up and protect your guys. And then, of course, once all that holds off, the machine gunner gets into it and starts whooping butt. So this is all you really need to do. Um... I will throw a machine gunner down back here just in case, but I really, really don't think they're going to go that route. I'm pretty sure with the way it's set up, these zombies should go right for those guys on that five pad. This is the ultimate five pad, guys, and you're going to see my sniper just lighting off, taking some of these zombies out as they walk forward. Now, the biggest problem, guys, is going to be the fact that we have a bunch of these guys with these blue circles around them that are going to injure our surgeon really, really fast. So that is what we don't want. So we might flare our guys forward. Uh, to protect our scatter shot and our surgeon, as you can see, the scatter shot's gonna die first, and the surgeon's gonna revive her instantly. And now the fire chief goes down, and a couple seconds later, this surgeon will have the power to bring him back to life. So that's very key when you're doing this, guys. Now with the extra troops I have, I'm gonna start throwing them down just in case our main line doesn't hold, which is always a possibility you have to be prepared for. So as you can see, I'm not even watching it, but here we go. Surgeon's always going to be in the back. Oh, shoot, a spitter got her. So we're going to throw a second surgeon down here. And oh my god, stop it. <laughs> Our surgeon is getting cracked to, oh my god, that was terrible news. So what we're going to do is throw down actually another fire chief here. And we're going to throw some, ah, oh, go Molotov. Molotov will kill them. But that's just, oh my god, I told you, this is a worst case scenario right here, guys, is where all your troops get overwhelmed. And now you have this huge, huge horde coming. And there's really nothing you can do other than wait and hope for the best. So what we're going to do is actually, I don't know what to do here. I'm going to throw down uh, 27. We're going to throw him there. And we're going to throw down a scatter shot there. And that should be able to hold that wall a little bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to drop down our chainsaw guy right here. And he should, he should be able to uh, kill some of these spitters, which is going to be very, very key. Throw down our third sniper there. And then we're going to flare these guys back and throw a surge in here. And a machine gunner. So hopefully, hopefully with the stem, that machine gunner will get boosted up and be able to shoot fast. Let's hope for the best here. It's going to be close. Oh my god, that surge is going to die if we don't get rid of it. Okay, cool. That's good. Good news there. Now, the bad news is that we obviously are getting overrun down here in the bottom. Oh my god, no. Not the machine gunner. Guys, do your jobs. <laughs> All right, so not the worst case. This is actually going decent. Not really great, I shouldn't say, but... It is moving along at least. I'm not too worried. I threw down my instructor because I got a little bit worried here. But what we're going to do is throw another freaking Molotov on these spitters. These spitters are really high level, unfortunately. So they're definitely holding their own. We're going to stim Z our guy. And then let's bring back our destructor immediately. Oh, what the hell? Why didn't the destructor come back? That's weird. I swear that destructor was on that pad, but whatever. Anyway, brought back one of the troops. That's good news. And we got 457 out of 625 so not bad we did overall pretty decent and as you can see that was the best pad though that pad held for quite a while before it finally caved 
We'll do it one more time. We'll try and be a little more concentrated on it. Let's do it in high speed this time. That's a little risky, but as you saw, we did win. High speed is a little harder to do just because it is a very... You got to really concentrate really hard. Uh, let's see. Where is... Oh my god. Are you kidding me? All right. So sometimes the game kind of fucks you over, as you can see. I mean, yeah, that's not cool. First wave is right here, and there's one single spot there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go a little ballsy here. We're going to put down our instructor. We're going to throw two machine gears behind him. We're going to throw down a, a single sniper over there. And then we're going to throw down melee here, here, and we're going to throw surgeon there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to draw these guys as far as possible out. And we're going to hope for the best. Basically, is our whole point. We're just going to speed this up and hope for the best, guys. It's all we can do. If they go right for the hospital, there's nothing I could have possibly done better. Um, the reason you don't put anything on that pad, guys, is because if you do, of course, the troops will run for it. So you got to make sure you're protecting your guys. And the reason you're not putting a surge on that front pad, guys, is because, of course, you... Oh, my God. Hold on a second, guys. Is because you don't want to have to worry about them actually uh, dying from the range units. Sorry, I'm a little concentrated. Put one sniper there. Now we put down a surge and bring our troops back. And now we flare way, way back and hope for the best. So this is what's going to go on here. Oh, my God. I need to drop faster. Okay, so things are not going perfect, but they're not going terrible either. So we're going to just keep dropping troops really quickly. Throw down another one of these. And now distract, distract, distract. And throw down surgeon, sniper. Hope for the best. Right? That's all we can do. Hope for the best. We should win. Shouldn't be a problem as long as you keep dumping your guys in a group like this where they keep evening out. So what you have on each group is melee, melee, and then you have a surgeon and to heal everyone up. And you just got to make sure the surgeons never die. Oh, crap. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. What are we going to do about this? We're going to throw down a surgeon here to revive those guys. And then we're going to do this and hope that by doing so, we can revive these guys here and here. And then molt off and then we can kill them faster because what we want is... Okay, revive up. All right. So hopefully... Okay, that worked out. Oh, we killed them all. Oh, no, we didn't. Come on, do it. There we... <laughs> Unreal. Okay, so the game thought we won like twice there. And then I was like, oh, no, there's two spitters left. Let's keep it hit. So kind of paused up, but we did manage to clear the field. And we had no time remaining, though. So... Not as good as the first one, but we still got two tiers. I'm kind of sad we haven't gotten that second tier or third tier, which is unfortunate, but we do get a paramedic and some cans. Now, if you do a really good job, you get a lot. So hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. Hopefully it helps you. I'll do more um, entertaining ones. I'll do probably like, I'll probably start from the beginning here and attack and then show you guys what is the best strategies, where's the best place to get coins. All that good stuff will be in future videos. This video will be out on my King channel and of course my World Zombination Expert channel. Sorry, I'm just messing with the uh, map, guys. But that is definitely what we're going to be working on. And I'm trying to trying to get one of these to the final levels. That's what I'm trying to work on right now. Definitely getting close, guys. We're getting close to uh, maxing out. Let's just get all these troops out of here. And see what we upgraded to. Let's see here. Yeah, professional. Actually, that's our commando. So, working on that guy. Our professional will be going to level 10 soon, hopefully. And who should we upgrade? We don't really have a lot of co uh, cans, unfortunately. Or boxes. We need more of both. So we will upgrade a level 7, and we'll upgrade our medic, which is level 5. And then I'll have to fight it to this and win a bunch of stuff so I can continue to upgrade a lot. Uh, but I'll just show you my overall team in a second. Uh, once I show you guys this, hold on. Let me just make sure I get my last one. Whatever, sharpshooter can go up. All right, so my full team, what it looks like without my discrimination of who I enjoy working with, is going to be this. Okay, so we have machine gunner, surgeon, scattershot, lumberjack, fire chief, spec op, destructor. Then we have another machine gun at level 31, a sawbones level 29, scientist level 29, and then we have scatter shot level 26, 23 commando, 22 cop, 21 once again machine gunner. And then we have our timber beast at level 20, who I'm going to be working on. And Overwatch, Desperado. I'm working on a bunch of Desperados here, like making sure they level up a lot, as you can see. And then I got a buzzsaw, a gunslinger, and then I have all my like second and third string. This is mostly my third and fourth string guys, actually, to be honest. They're all like level 12s. And right below level 12, like ready to go to level 10. And as you can see, I do have some really good troops about to go to level 10 here. And I'll be making videos on promoting them all. That'll be really fun. Um, that's definitely going to be a series I do. Look at all the machine gunners I have. This is pretty crazy. A ton of machine gunners. 
And yeah, that's about it though, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If it was helpful, slap that like button, comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.